Bingham, rise the fuck up. I promise you, there's no way. Mods, can we do a poll? No way, I'm thinking for the two months, 35 months from Felice. I fucking fold it, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, folding your pants is the way to go. Look at the hanger gang. That's some psychopath shit. That's some fucking cr That's some shit that like, I see, I walk into your closet. I see that you hang your fucking pants. And I'm like, okay, dude, I'm gonna make sure I stay fucking 12 feet away from this person at all times. Like that's some sociopathic shit. I mean, are you take you 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 hanging your jeans? For what? They're jeans, dude. To health. But he did in a good spot here. Sniper slowly creeps forward. He did swings at the right time. Good for one. Tries to buy some time and there was no help. There was no cover. He was just able to swing and challenge and trade that. Why hang shirts? They're gonna be able to work hang shirts. Hands. You have to be well, in high school still. Good no deal of damage, but what? You steal. I have to unwittingly uh, no shot, the bro. There's our could have been a bold gang a one right, right there, baby. Here. Does get a heal from his sage teammate, so despite the fact that he was dropped low. I don't hang T-shirts. Who the fuck? No, listen, guys. Recuperate some you don't hang shit. The clock and hundred thieves have regrouped towards oh, Catwalk no, and are making their way back towards A. Doug. I don't hang up my uh, T-shirt. A couple of members. You hang up your hoodies. You saw even then. Hundred thieves Your crew neck long just to get another ult orb into the hands of Asuna again, really highlighting the Your importance, the value that they place on that ultimate. But now they're working their way on A with 15 seconds left. Asuna kind of dancing around the site. Good nano swarm to delay things. This you hang up down. the hefty shit or the now shit that wrinkles easily, dude. You take a great wall. As Ethan's in a really good spot again, no, just to delay, Kizzy. right? Like, make him think twice about it, not give any easy entrance. Like your socks, your socks you put up. Onto the site, but Xset are running out of time. They're gonna have to go, and they're gonna have to go here soon. A couple of those traded early on. Organizes them nicely. There's just one left. Again, it's Aaron. We've seen him in, in situations like this a couple of times where he's looking. He has no idea where the remaining members of 100 Thieves are. Steel's able to clean him up. Hiko got in on the action as well. What? 100 Thieves won the first pistol of the series. Just so much post plant utility there available for 100 Thieves. You have nano swarms being layered at heaven. You've got the barrier orb in front of Yo, the. Yo, quick uh, question. The for door, like the three people that sit in chat and just continuously type through, steel tweet. The angles get so much more severe. You've got a vertical what one. What goes through your well mind? I'm just curious, dude. One, but because as the rest it's, of it's chat just carries on and talks about socks, to retake do you think that you're on like some sort of mission? <laughs> all that utility still left and pays off for hundred. He must two. see steals tweets. Players remaining did claim he must. Pistol and early on, we see we did over here towards a. <laughs> I just gotta ask. With this Bucky at a main. Which I already seen still sweet, by the way, my dude. Teams playing with the Buckies. But I just wanted to ask. I was curious. Aggressively I trying to find the opening pick for their teams, and I wonder like what the chat experience not, is like for you. You know, the defenders are be able are able to find that. So, be a test where we did perhaps at another time as under thieves are electing to regroup. Why isn't perhaps everyone more, else telling him to look at Steel Sweet? Now, Do they not know in that's still situations tweeted? like this, you expect the team that wins the pistol to, to be able to really dispose of the opposing team with relative ease, but it is worth noting exit. Hey guys, make sure to hit that follow button and come hands. back to the stream again another day. Rifle has one as well in three I need you, I need you Valorant way, so viewers really to fucking hit the follow button, gambling, right? right? It's a gamble. Let's, let's call it what it is, but they're really looking to mess up the economy of 100 Thieves if they can make something happen. Ethan with a cheeky wall spot. Good for one on the BCJ and the second one as well. And you're seeing that investment. Not quite pay off. Yeah, Aaron got one, but 100 Thieves are still in a, such a strong position. Yeah. Wifo has to make some magic happen. And he's gonna get no nope. chance. Good for one. Swings around. There's no one else home. Nitro's in a good spot where he can really play spoiler. You we ever thought about living in like converted up. school bus or anything? And he's gonna get Bruh. paranoid as well. You talking about like the small home bands and shit? They got Absolutely, Nitro, dude. Right? Like you can't ignore him. We did was in a brutal Chat, spot listen, there. Chat, listen, man. I think up. about disappearing from the scene the every other month. Stands. And the one thing that crosses my mind Rickets. is those all those fucking buses. Let me just run away and go fucking explore America or some shit. Nitro finds that. Waifo falls. 
and my little school Parking bus a with a tricked out king ago. size mattress and a toilet. I mean, you know what I mean? Attack side for hundred thieves. We must have seen Boggers. probably in the ballpark of five frags or so that were consistently being added to the board for hundred thieves by the side of, of you know, by yeah. virtue of the fact that that lurk is just so potent. Nitro is so wise in his steps, making sure that his timing is correct when he's ready to, to actually strike. will get killed by a bear. And it's not an empty lurk. It's not as though those kills are just... What the fuck? You know. I would not die to a bear, dude. Or whatever, because the, more often than not, not my it's coming on retakes. Right? Not like in the, the battle bus, bro. Like, Yo, imagine, teams. imagine I get a bus, I trick it out, is just armed with and I call it the battle bus. Catching a lot Talk about of that vibes. Miles and B-Main aggression, all of X set has pushed up at some point in this round somewhere, and now, quick reaction from Hunter Thieves to move towards A. To get a free sight plant. Austin finds Boyfo. Uh, it's absolute chaos in the opening moments of the round, and that's what nets Hunter Thieves enough real estate to get the spike down. And remember, folks, because of the force that Exit had in the previous round, they don't bring a lot into You'll this see me one. Cruising Sheriff, down the street ghost is all that remains. With my Bose speaker Aaron system. Weeded, and Aaron Weeded Thank drops. Thank you on the board right now. Aaron again, alone. He landed a nice shot on the steal. Thank but Seal's ghost right was just now. enough to just... clean things up. I like what we saw out of Exit there, right? Like, understanding you're in a but pistol. Just full time. send, right? Cause okay, chaos. See if you can, if you can emerge from the madness no, in an advantageous position. And unfortunately the map, for them, the 100 Thieves read the map perfectly. They worked their way towards A and they had full control. <laughs> and then from that point on, it was just very difficult for Exit to get much going. Yeah, just a quick ABC protocol, really knowing that they're like going to push you. that hard over at B. Under Thieves immediately sprints through and clears A main. Just an excellent gamers. reaction from Under Thieves. And I think, you know, moving into this first gun round, Doug, I, I won't say that there's a whole lot that we can read into from it, but <laughs> Under Thieves are sure looking crisp and exit. Uh. Perhaps after losing map one, losing pistol, being down 3-0, early run it back up, market past pizza for Asuna. Catching a quick vandal shot from BCJ to end it. Finding one more on the steal, a second oh, wow. one. Wow. trades it out, but now it's a four on three, so make it a three on three. Finding a second on the we did. He gets the spike and he's gonna from the shadows back into the back of the site. Aaron drops as well. We're gonna have full access on the B. Should should the be back. Able to get yeah, the spike he, down. Mm. Nitro does. Pure and Thwaifo looking uh -oh. to retake the site. Grenades come through uh -oh. and hurts. Right, it's just enough to reposition and get the kill, but Ethan trades it back out. Ethan, Thwaifo in a 1v1. Thwaifo swings. It was Ethan who was trying to get the jump on it, but Thwaifo is the one who walks away from that victorious to get X set the first round of the map. The fuck? Pull out animation just a bit too slow. And what a nade from Pure there. I mean, it was a two on two. And you had, you were basically facing a fully healed Nitro planting a spike in the back site. And paint shells just rain from above. And that's a very important round for Exit getting their first on the board. And I mean, they've done a decent job, Doug, of, of managing and mitigating the strength uh, of the bank account on 100 Thieves. That they've gotten on these Ego rounds, you know, usually two or three kills, seems like. So moving into round five. Chad, quick question. You have that, the potential. Has that fake flash ever worked reset, but in CS? <laughs> I can watch this all day. We did. You can watch it all day, man. <laughs> like in a pro a game. Viper. Are there but any anyway, clips of it? I, 100 Thieves. This isn't a great. Like the pistol you know, flash. Outlook. It, it was really looking like they had a few rounds to work with financially, and they're gonna want to win this one now. Early blaze wall from Austin at a main. And the Hunter's Fury to back it up and create some space. He does find a tag, make it two in a frag on a pure. He falls to Hiko's Hunter Fury. The guy fake flashes Osmond an eye. Comes through as well as you see members of Exit start to rotate towards oh, A. Oh, fuck. Spike hasn't fully committed. Now they're creeping their way forward. Big kill as we did drops. There's no additional right, pressure coming on this from, round. from heaven right now as BCJ just has to like slowly and carefully oh. creep his way forward. Spots one. On to Hiko and gets tagged up. He has to step back. Now he does have his own Hunter's Fury. And you see they, they're just all funneling in from the same spot, right? That makes it so much more difficult to get onto the site. Again, 100 Thieves very confident in taking control of the site before they get the spike down. Get everything that they want. Ensure that they have full control 
of where they want to be and exit cannot find a way in you see Thwaifo and Aaron both going for the fences Nitro trying to save those rifles into the next so round really as Hunter Peeves to get through this. He's to get another one oh five two as far as personnel goes four okay that's one not what I mean moments hundred thieves to good get through this. He's gonna throw I love that I, I'm not like sure. that isn't really you know, at least no that that doesn't mean that didn't work coming in from a viper most rounds that I mean so you do have to wait the dude out didn't the look away fight, the dude didn't act like it was a flash really kind of bypasses all of that and so a quick unfolding of some utility as aaron's yeah he didn't turn away back in boathouse the wife will be the first yes it did no he didn't <laughs> <for his laughs> the dude did not look away hey, listen, i was talking about are you guys fucking wait the hello big bank account that hundred threes had built up suddenly was being whittled away at am i blind right? so if they had left all five players alive for 100 Thieves, this is all about you know, they could be buying for the next Nitro two rounds seemingly right. so without effort. Really and now those three kills this. may actually Chat. be more important than it seemed as... This man's crosshair uh, is angled. Nitro's crosshair is literally on the angle he should be able to run away with things. He's still holding. They, they, this isn't, it didn't work. So Early Viper Street usage on B and a Bucky waiting on the other side. He just fucked up his shot, dude. It's gonna be tough. He didn't buy it. He wasn't phased by he that saw, shit. It was, it was actually awesome. That was shot, dude. So confident and just pushing into the Viper. I'm talking about. Box. I want to see somebody Whatever turn away. Wanted. There's a lockdown that you mentioned. A BCJ does have. Nah, nah, theory. nah, bro. I'm gonna get the interview with Nitro, bro. He's gonna, gonna expose you. To wait it out, not cancel. You look the way IRL. It's more as a distraction. Bro, the yeah, motherfucker it wasn't up. distracted though. For one, he did work his way back and he's gonna drop, not even getting a chance. Never this spotted. dude didn't even flinch. One, the paranoia coming out from Nitro. Steel joins the fold again. And through all of that, Hunter Thieves still haven't made their way onto the site. Aaron's in a great spot for one, but it's pure. Actually, who cleans him up. Ethan swings out and gets one as well. Now, Brax Hunter versus Kenny S. have a bit more room to work with. They have some breathing room and man, they mow X set down. All right, you call a timeout right here, and I just, I, I want to hear the argument that is sure to be ensuing as Pure drops a nade directly onto Aaron's head. I'm almost certain that's just what happened. Aaron almost had the lineup for multiple kills, had to move and swing out of position to avoid it. Tragic stuff. Pure was stuck behind, like, three different sets of obscuration. There's no way he could see where his teammate was. Unfortunate stuff there, because it did seem as though Hunter Thieves was walking directly into... Now a crossfire from hell. Now that motherfucker, waiting them that motherfucker got bodied off that shit. No cap. Kids, and this is, I mean, said they looked good last round, Doug, but they're looking near flawless in their execution onto the sights here. Now it is worth noting, Aaron was the only one who had a rifle in that last round. So financially, yeah, they invested the Viper's Pit, but that was really all they invested. They drew a lockdown uh, out of it too. They did, yeah, absolutely Our right. Holding it down. Oh, sure. Right. Asuna gets one draw. Hello? And all their ultimates used as well. The showstopper, and that doesn't net a ton doing, either. Man? So you see two ultimates really in invested for for very little there. Question now is what kind of information that's available to Xset is loudly 100 Thieves is showing that they're rotating back towards A. Hey, we're going over here now. They're resetting back towards the Bravo site, it would seem. Asuna throwing the misdirection, giving him a little bit of juice, but yep. on the receiving end of that was, I believe that's Aaron on the other side of that wall. He knows nobody's coming A. Right. That's something I'm right. Right. Even some members of Exit start oh, to creep towards A. But then they pull back. You still have Pure, who's on the site. BCJ's in a great spot. He's going to get smoked off as Lifo drops as well. BCJ having to use the Hunter's Fury. And nobody really able to push him aggressively here. BCJ good for one. Nitro managed to take the middle of the map as he once again finds himself behind Weedig. Hiko looking to get the plant down. He's not gonna, he's gonna have to do it very quickly as Weedig gets a big kill again. Still having the respect where Nitro is. Sniffs it out, is able to land in a 2v2 here as Weedig just down to 59 health. He's gonna have to play this very carefully. Nice thing is they do have some time oh, inside of Aaron's utility. As they creep forward, you see them both pushing in from opposite sides. As they look to see how they get in here. Fucking eyelashes, dude. Running out of time. There's no more time, really. Ethan already drops, and Hiko drops as well. Xset, they were careful, they were methodical, they were diligent, and it pays Except off. Xset, finally. Wow. And honestly, I'm an on back. the hero of this Bring it on back. Finally. 
You know, two maps in, somebody has put a stop to Nitro's shenanigans in the middler. I mean, the worst part about it, if you're exit, is not only is he finding his mark. Here's fucking question: bread. Have you ever tried a peanut but butter and honey sandwich? Absolutely, just a dude. Threat. There's no way you can just. Right. Absolutely. It. You can't just discount it. Hey, I got another question right back the, at you though. Or it's the knife in the Have back you ever tried subscribing with you. Prime Gaming? Right. Yes, and Prime Gaming. Second. Where you could hit the sub button in the bottom right corner and redeem a free sub to the channel by clicking the sub with Prime Gaming button, linking your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, and subscribing now for free with Prime Gaming. Have you ever done it? I hope so. And if not, today might be the day where you could become a Prime Gaming sub. As well, but you see the spike is waiting back. I mean, back in their spawn. On A side, waiting to see if anyone's gonna push through from X set to aggressively take a bit of space <laughs> away or try to. Ethan once again getting up top. You saw Nitro use it from the shadows to get back <laughs> on the back of B. The cosmic Holy. divide's gonna come out as well. And we did. Yo. We did. What he did's gotta be fuck? careful on the timing because he goes just on the other side as well. He did is able to take care of one and he gets dropped almost instantly. But that's gonna be enough information for them to get the spike and and really book it. Holy shit, yo, big Again. ups. Hey, big shout out to my man Shroud not going live, you, dude. You I just got like 10 if you fucking go prime subs, map, dude. Where you think some of that is 15, safe because where you what the is, fuck? They have to stick to A here. They're stuck. Holy shit. This is so awkward. Sheesh. That shit's banging. That's like 50% of my current sub count total, dude. Also, no, no, Let's go. Get the spike down. Started, thought about it. Meanwhile, Nitro <laughs> dies on the other side of the map. You, you remember he used that hundred, or excuse me, the, from the shadows early on. He drops as chaos continues to ensue on A, certainly going in favor of X and as they have the numbers advantage. Two members remaining for 100 Thieves. All right, I got to speed run these. And they're certainly not David, healthy. Embers up. There he is. Ugly. Weak. Smithy. He MJ. Dead. Benji. Anon. Zexley. Twisty. Loner. Four Devil. Beast. Lions. Aiden. Cross. Perfect. of the Alamo CC. type stuff here. It's, it's not going to pan Same. out. Trigazy. As he Same. drops. BCJ Sevash. takes Shin. care of him. Exit. Get the defuse as they get to three. Shucky. And, and, and hey, Lex. Was it, was it a little too fancy? I mean, what went wrong there? I think they didn't expect uh, from the side of Exit to just kind of like have 100 thieves everywhere on the map at once. And it... It, like the rotations were very messy at first like there was a it was a very convoluted response to what was going on but i think thwaifo really was the key piece please making sure Thank like you. hey uh nitro definitely just you know from the shadows into the back of the boat, like, like, I, I need to stay here and not knowing where the rest of the side of no, all this man was, is just struggling with that one way god damn found themselves in a perfect read where not a lot we they did could get do. it together nitro bro was basically stuck you fucked up that one way every Wipo, round, only, bro. The only under, it up. Uh, underfunded player in that round holding Suck Spectre, it. so. Uh-oh. You hear that? You should hear that, yep. Oh, man, what are you doing? Back. Is that only Nitro? Excuse Which me, smoke was that? Was that, was that, was that Nitro? Asuna using the running back to create some space across the tree. Nitro, what are you doing? You don't ever push into the smoke like out, that. Wanting to push through or give any early kills away. No, 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 baby. There's certainly more where that came from as Asuna continues to follow I'm gonna have to, to tell up. Nitro, uh, I'm gonna have to coach him Hunter a little Sumi bit after this match. not tag anything up, but the spike does go down. Asuna's still trying to play like interference, right? Play defender, not let anyone in help from three. Help clean up the looks to do the same smokes. up in heaven. Ethan's getting in on the action as well. It's a difficult site to retake in a position like this, but Aaron looking to do Show him some sick one ways, to as well. too. As he gets things down to a 1v1, he's only got 10 health left though. Ooh. And Steel comes Steel up with the huge clutch. with the Guardian. Huge kill. Yo, Hunter Thieves is uh, wow. big, big half on this attack side. Close clutch attempt from BCJ, and it Bayon. was a much needed one. Their money is Trippin'. still Take in the shambles. Sub. Appreciate it. And on the other side of things, Hunter Thieves, who were strapped a bit in the previous round, have basically put themselves in a position to not only win the half, but do so with full weaponry. Actually, as I'm saying that, you don't really have anything on the side of... Well, I guess you're one off of having Hunter's Fury if you can somehow get control of the main, but the Viper's Pit for We Did has not panned out so far in this series, really. Keep them winning the opening duel. Yeah, a couple of very kills being traded off, and you mentioned the, the Viper's Pit last time we saw it. It was in a it was in a weird lighter buy, and they just aggressively used it early on to negate some of that space, but here we see 100 Thieves. So that made it hit the drone. aggressively themselves. Wall's gonna go up. Bucky on the other side goes just a bit wide as Asuna punishes that. Yeah, Pure trades it out. 
But Two, now Hunter Thieves are in a position where tied up 3-3 here. They drew a bit of utility out on A. They made a ton of noise. They can reset the map because Nitro, once again, is being a uh -oh. nuisance. ECJ is staying home, and this is brilliant. But look at this angle from Nitro. He's not oh. aware of it, yet he gets the headshot, finds one. Does that turn off the noise? It's a 2 1 2. That's Chat. the Hunter's Fury out of play. And now I know it's some of you guys are getting annoyed. Do you still hear it? Stealing Hiko at B. And not just stealing Hiko, but the lockdown as well. Hiko getting spiked down. You should run. And there's utility okay, as cool. well. There we see that lockdown coming out early on, just buying time, right? You have to respect it. So you just delays, delays, delays to where the only time you really have access to get back into the site is when there are only a few seconds left and you have to play aggressively. You have to play quickly. And here we go. Pure and Thwipo slowly working their way forward. Again, there's Killjoy Utility waiting for them. There's a turret, a Nano Swarm, an Alarm Bot, everything. And then if that's not enough, it steals Vandal. It takes care of Pure. Thwipo looking to be a hero for Xset. You got three different things shooting at him at one time. He doesn't get a chance to really get much of anything off. As Steel gets three, 100 Thieves gets seven as they continue to pile it onto Xset. Yeah. Nice round there from Steel. Basically, I think his team in a position to run away with the half now. Attempting the heroics. And the truth is, unless he's able to kill all three Hunter of those thieves players, looking right nice. he had the utility, he had the Hunter Spirit available to him, but. You know, when you're over there towards the switch, there's just not a whole lot of opportunity to use any of that. So, 7-3 now, 100 Thieves in a commanding fashion. Winning already the round advantage for the first half. Potentially looking to close things out with an 8 or 9 round scoreline. Because, I mean, Xset, who I've, I've touched on three or four rounds in a row now, Doug, about how dangerously close they've come to oh, a boy. financial ruin they're back on three buckies a sheriff and a specter yeah that can't feel good oh and you wonder it's, yeah it's just hard from a financial perspective how much longer can you find yourself in this less than ideal position and look like exit so they put up that viper's wall well, viper's pit excuse me early on yeah to d delay and at least deny information in A and across the middle of the map as well, but they just feel so confident working their way through. Nitro pushes his way forward. I swear there's something in my eye. Here they go towards B. Couple Bucky's waiting on the other side, and yeah, they're gonna get info from that part, but here they go. Asuna's wall goes up. He's able to work his way across safely. Potentially looking to get his way behind the wall. He does just that as he takes care of Weeded. Takes care of the Wipo as well. Looking for more. Drops pure three. Aaron alone. Eco's going to get the spike down. He has a Spectre. And he's able to clean up Asuna. What a round from Asuna. Just creating yeah. so much space for the site. And that was without, I mean, that was without an ult, right? Like... You just feel the presence of them on the site. Chat. Now. Somebody call Xat, bro. I mean, that execute, like you said, you, you kind of get the information. DCJ spots the L drones, able to put up a recon dart. He is even playing from Switch. They've got an interesting crossfire going over there, but, you know, as soon as that blaze wall comes out, you've got the Viper wall up. Moment smokes get deployed. Somehow, Austin is just able to weave his way through all of it. Finds three kills from behind on the unsuspecting defenders of Exit. And, you know, they haven't looked bad in this half, Doug, but 100 Thieves is just looking, to me anyway, they look that good. Middle of the map, at least not an easy option. I won't say it's not an option, as 100 Thieves have managed to navigate their way around that Viper's Pit a couple of times. Well, they know where 100 Thieves uh, are. In this series, Holy shit. certainly won't be an easy one as you see we did creeping his way forward. Good one onto Austin as well. There's that run it back off the board as BCJ is getting in. Ah, damn. A little bit of love as well with his Hunter's Fury. Still a problem as Hiko comes back up. So you get some info and you draw out that ultimate, but you aren't able to punish it, right? You're not able to trade it back. 100 Thieves are getting closer and closer towards A. The spike's on the site. The Cosmic Divide is going to come out. And that should section things off, but there's really nobody there to help punish that, right? There's nothing to stop them from working their way through the Cosmic Divide right now. Yeah, a little bit of a preemptive pull on that. However, paint shells rain in, nanoswarms go out, all the utilities being dispensed. Pure pops the showstopper. 
looking for one behind the gen. He gets it. Ethan gets punished. I mean, instantly swings, gets punched in the mouth. Eco looking to get one with his Hunter Fury. He does just that. Looking for a second. Gets it. Damn. That's all he's able to get. Almost. His XM managed to clean up the remaining members of Hundred Thieves. Pure is going to get the defuse. And it was a great half from Hundred Thieves, but XM managed to eke out the very last one. Yeah, not a bad finish. Yo, I mean, Sakov, a really strong the six. retake showing Pog. finally. You know, after so thank many you, rounds. Josh where Guy, thank you for the two months. Thieves Aaron able to get on the site. Bayoon, I'm sorry. And thank you guys. I, at least today, I don't. Thank you. Call any rounds where XF was able to successfully retake it until then. So really things started off with that Viper pit at mid. It's getting really cheeky with the refrigerator push, just finding one for its tiles. And you know, narrowly, I mean, look how close this is. He does so much damage, almost pulls up one of his patent is 1v3s or 1v4s, whatever it was. You almost got to see the Hiko magic unfold instead. The Hiko Except magic. Get the fours. Ooh, 100 Thieves who Come dominated on. throughout this game. Hiko magic, baby. We're going to just continue <laughs> things with this pistol here. You'll see XSEP play again, play around the, on the attacking side, play around that Viper's wall a lot. And I think a lot of it is conditioning, right? Like, are we going to push through the wall? Are we not? We'll see them do that almost consistently Shame! as the, the madness ensues across the pistol round. We did already be able to get two. And yeah, a couple got traded back from 100 Thieves. But with that, they have the understanding that they're certainly not going to be able to go towards A. They're going to hightail it back towards Chat, B. what region do you think is going to be the best in Valorant? He's got his full kit ready for them. I think, think three years and down the, the line. the information right now with that Aldrin. Okay, it's coming B. Rotations are going to be late. Let's see what he can do. Who's going to win world after world after world? Wall coming up. Should be able to clear things out over market. Steel just continuing to buy time. Look at how much was delayed. Right? Now they're going to continue to creep their way forward. But members of 100 Thieves have already taken so much space. They're basically there. Aaron's in a good spot to play. Interfere and so is Steel goes in aggressive. Takes care of the white bow. He's only got 22 health left though. ECJ in a great spot. Ethan looking to play heroics. Good for one. Aaron taps. 30 seconds left. He's got armor! Oh. And he gets the kill on to Ethan. Exit takes the round. What the fuck? Old move, Aaron, and it pays off. Wow. I mean, Nitro dropping the dark cover right in front of Boathouse for Steel to play around in. He's got nano swarms to work with. Really, that looked like a horrible, horrible sight to be coming to. Late round in the pistol with those flanks coming in instead. Nitro gets caught off with his knife in hand. Nathan, who's always been so lethal on top of that wall boost, yeah. gets caught out by a uh, jumping Aaron up onto that sidewalk position. And wow, a fantastic way to win a 1v1 on the pistol and maybe be able to bring his team back into this game where Under Thieves have looked in control so much so far. They are willing I to love these mollies. throw a lot they just of utility towards the main here, knowing that potentially Under Thieves made their way towards wine. They know it. Ethan falls. Yeah. Actually gonna contest this, Doug. I think they may, may, he did manage to see him just just by the narrowest of margins, but they look to punish that. And Hundred Thieves, as you said, they contest it, they swing at the right time, and they're and they're able to punch right back. Now we did's gonna get healed up a bit, but they don't have the numbers advantage. Technically, I mean Aaron. Austin has seven health left. He's off the board now. Nitro got messed up pretty badly Aaron. as well. Aaron needs some HP. Two Five of the three five. remaining members of Hundred Thieves. Go ahead, ahead and. Look for some heals. He's so only at 16 out. HP. And that sage on Floyd for to get mm -hmm. healed back up for hey, Aaron. Bro, sorry. My sage and heal is I'm still sure in the safari. Aware of this, so both teams mm -hmm. doing a quick reset, repositioning. Unfortunately for Nitro, limping around at 16 mm -hmm. HP of his own. No teammate support to be able to drop him a heal. So with 30 seconds left. Steel will stay home over here towards B, but it'll be Nitro looking to play spoiler from back one. And I think they just saw where that came from, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. We did once again wise on who's playing over in that spot in wine from 100 Thieves. Eagle's still on the site. Eagle's good for one. Ten seconds. Left. Here at the Wipo. They're going to have to hurry. Right, and they're going to draw that out. Aaron's playing cover. Aaron's good for it, too, as he cleans up Hiko. The spike goes down. Steel's going to show up. He's going to show up late. And he's walking into a Spectre and a Bulldog with a Bucky. This is not an easy clutch attempt. Oh, and 
And again, it's not just the two remaining members of Exit, it's the clock Damn. as well that's not his friend. Aaron's Bulldog, he gets three on the round, cleans it up. Exit win the two rounds here at the, to Damn, open the 44%. half. 44%. But now, and 100 Thieves find themselves at a position of strength. And we've seen a couple of times this series, Lex, where Exit, they get close to really blowing up economies, right, by winning a, the bonus. But it just, just narrowly doesn't pan out. Yeah, somehow they've been struggling and, and I, I mean ultimately failing to keep the economy of 100 Thieves in check since the beginning of Icebox and it hasn't always necessarily burned them but you know when we're talking about winning an OT by such a slim margin looking back at it you're like those yeah. rounds were so crucial for us to win we failed to do it now on Icebox or sorry on Ascent you've got them in a similar position and of course you've, you've got you guys won't Spectre, believe who just sent me a message on. Who just sent me a Not text? exactly a full rifle buy coming out from Exit, but no. still, you put you put 100 thieves in this position where they basically have to win this round. So you, you check out just that wall went up early on from and Dwight he said, and Pure was able to look over towards hey there, Myth. Make sure that nobody's Make sure you torch farm tree, right? those prime gaming subs there, that wall goes while up I'm not streaming well. today, you little so cuck lord. Have that option. Enjoy while the free money. There's a ton of information w. being gathered by what they're not seeing on that half of the map, and that's why 100 Thieves are able to cheat towards B as long as they are. Now that wall's going to go up again, though, and hey, that's boys. where you start to ask yourself, like, all right, Weeded's wall has gone up once. That's twice now. <laughs> they weren't on the other side of it the first time around. You see them running out of time. Hey, uh, because of that, I didn't say it. To he did. can cheat a little bit more. Steal with the Bucky. God, Steal. Damn, one. boy. Nano Swarm drops. Again, the problem with this playstyle oh, is that you run out of time, and there's really not a whole lot you can do. Steel gets the second one. Yeah, Aaron trades it out. Dwyfo looking for more. Damn. Zasuna still up on top, man. And again, you when you have that <clears> little time, your hand is forced. Hey, Mitsethi, thank you yeah. for the prime I sub. Mean, Appreciate the, it, my dude. This is something you see a lot amongst, I, I won't even call Exet, you know, a lo lower tier team or an inexperienced team at this point because, you know, they're rolling with the big dogs. But, right. you know, I, I do wonder when it, when we talk about the world-class kind of decision-making from 100 Thieves. Sky and how M, GG on, these guys Burnt are. Slick, you know, It really shows in a round like that where Thanks, Exet, boys. they have the read. There's four members Trout would be proud. on thank the you. site, essentially, at B. You yeah. know this. And yet the hesitation is so fraught with just second guessing throughout. That was a 15 to 20 second rotation. Which really, if you just knife out, hit that 10 second window, you only face steel there and you maybe have 40 seconds left Splish, on the clock. Splash, splash, thanks. Dude. Back onto a really broken buy. Actually, they're going to open things onto steel with the frenzy Must that's it. pure in the A site. Nitro oh, on a pin, <laughs> just getting destroyed by Thwaipo in a really tough spot to be in. It's a three on five retake now for 100 uh -oh. Lex, this is looking really good for Exit as they're gonna get the Vipers pit in uh -oh. there as well. Thwaipo's in a decent spot. We did has to stay alive though. Asuna using the run it back. Play into it, not even gonna get a chance. He didn't even spot Bang. a single player. Nitro's gonna come back up, but again, it's in a brutal spot. Asuna's oh, gonna have shit. to do a little bit of rinse and repeat, and Aaron's in a spot to play spoiler, and he Aaron. does it. He's good for two Coming with the up huge. Asuna, who's tried working his way into this Viper's pit two, three times now, and has been met with no success once again. We did waiting on the other side. The Viper's pit wow. was exactly what the doctor ordered in that moment. said as they take the round. Yeah, oh, rolls Captain Pat, round, thank man. you. And, and hey, I mentioned this it, a... hasn't had a huge impact in the series so far, but you see, just like everyone from 100 Thieves, not really quite sure how to handle it. We're gonna dive in. Uh oh. Go I don't know. Like, was X set the on He's the comeback, back, ladies and, and gentlemen, and boys and girls, about buckle up. About the series, but because X set you know, you to, is here to play. Here and there to really step up for their team. Series maps can be disclosed. Well. I hate that my clap is off thing. Behind 100 Thieves. Because it's on a different computer. I, 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 I always gotta see remember not to clap. Here is, is 100 Pain. Thieves are on a weird buy. Still is a Bucky again. Hiko with a ghost. I'm off sync because technology. The value that they place and the, and the creativity that they bring with the Sage adding an element of verticality that you really don't see super often on Ascent, right? We saw it outside B. We just saw it there across the middle of the map as well. They're just able to add a wrinkle into things, and that's that was honestly one of the things that caused fits for Envy last night. And while 100 Thieves have the lead right now, we've seen moments where they're able to really hit in a way that hurts.
uh, in those situations. And here we see 100 Thieves. They've managed to upgrade a couple of weapons. Seal still just with the Bucky. But Exit have the numbers advantage. Yeah, and it is so fun to watch, honestly. This new, I don't know if you know if it's new. Exit. But certainly something that I haven't witnessed them doing too often. But 30 seconds left. Exit busting out those boosts often enough. Hanging off in a big way. Be still will be the first to fall on this A split. Oh, Nitro oh, stepping to the head of the second. Doesn't grab a third as Pure will grab him, but that was a 1v2 in Aaron, who we just talked about as being the, you know, paramount player right now to be watching on the side of Exit. Ten seconds left. Steel and Hiko, two of the hardest players I you mean, could be playing you against right now. Fuck yourself, Hiko Aaron. was having none of it. Aaron won't even get the spike down. Get the down, goddamn but... bomb down. He only got 10 no, seconds. It's not like it's a It's not like I got point just yet. 10 40 seven. seconds of fake taps. And you were able to get a lot of space and there. And honestly, heaven. Nitro just being so, so strong, just pivoting perfectly, finding the second, almost grabs the third, gets bailed out. But, you know, there was a moment there where Exit really had an opportunity to take the yeah, side. I don't know about that one, They Chief. did, man, but Nitro, the mad lad Nitro, good for two, and then it was just enough to where Hiko was able to swing and get the third, and the numbers advantage that they had just vanished. Right, like it, it totally right. evaporated, and from there they found themselves in a position of strength. Hundred Thieves did, and at that point it was easy. You mentioned it was Hiko and Steel on the other side, and Aaron's had himself an incredible map so far. But that's just so difficult to play into. So yeah, you mentioned that round going in favor of Hundred Thieves. Xset looking to play hot and heavy towards B this round. Weird, decent, like mixed by. Really, it's it's actually just pure. Uh, who isn't going to bring a rifle into things? Aaron has light armor, but aggression from Asuna. <laughs> as they push back, Dwyfo got the wall up and he spotted a couple of players across the middle of the map. The Hunter series is going to come Whoa. out as well as Dwyfo takes care of the initial aggression from Asuna and drops down. Here comes Pure with oh. the showstopper. Good for it. Steel drops. And Pure continues to oh. look for more dancing around the box. Gets a second one as well. What Holy a strong shit. response from Xset as Hunter Thieves only have two members remaining. Hiko and Ethan going into a 2v5. And the spike is down as well. Post plants fully online, but Ethan, good for one. Ethan. Oh man, that's just that's just like that's a drop in the bucket relative to what to the rest of what they're gonna have to do to take the site back, and they just back off. Yeah, an impressive response is an understatement in my opinion for Exit there. That is a huge statement. Like, okay, you're gonna play one player over here, you're just gonna leave Austin towards B. No, I don't think so. And what they ended up doing, I mean. Getting that wall boost up just puts so much pressure on the site defenders. Bow, 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 knowing that there's that additional bow, angle, even Nitro bow, 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 from the shadows bow, 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 into the back bow, 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 of both, struggling to deal with Wifo, who really bow, 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 is just bow, 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 causing bow, 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 distraction, bow, 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 causing a nuisance. All things up, a piggyback showstopper from the market. Even your rotation falls. It's nothing but curtains for 100 Thieves and Xset answering strongly 10 8 now. Nice. That's my remix. Look, work. Well done. And and like, look, man. How many times have we seen Asuna in that in that exact same moment? Right, curveballs, pushes, lands two, maybe three. Oh, yeah. He almost does it there too, right? But the fact that they were able to respond, he wasn't able to land any kills. Had to back up. I really think that's what opened up the site for Exit. <laughs> wow, not wow, dropping wow, those wow. kills early on. Still had <laughs> them. Fun. Gave them the ability to play from such a position of strength. Now we're seeing a bit of a mixed look, right? We saw heavy B. Last time, this time it's more, it's, it's not full, but a lot of presence towards A. Wifo still towards B, making sure there's nobody pulling through. BCJ, it's 100 feet, man, he tags it. Nitro Sheesh. instantly. Oh. Man, yeah, spotted him on the drone. Didn't get the tag, but oh, man, his awareness is just no. unparalleled right now. 5v3 already. Dude, BCJ is on one. He's reading them, the, like playing the map perfectly, reading it really well, theaters. able to get the kills with the Hunter Siri and then understand having the presence of mind to know that they're being pushed in from Still the other no side. ECJ right goes for third as well. Oh, Ethan no. looking for the peak. We did punishes him. He going in a 1v4. Look at this dude. Just down to 11 health, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe if he lands that second one right Ow. off the transfer, you got something cooking, but it was just too much. NT. And 10 9 exit. I mean, the Hunter's Fury, he pulls the drone through A main, goes towards door, looks for the tag there, and then just he must have spotted maybe the gun of Nitro over there on the right side of hell. Just beautiful reaction pops the Hunter's Fury and solidifies it on the third mountain. 
Look at Despite, the top uh, of his head. Under Thieves maybe getting a little bit greedy over there towards mid. That Somebody must have heard and called that out for BCJ because both players were ready on that flank. Yep. Gets denied. And hey, listen, I mentioned a couple times in the first map, but again here, you know, you brought it up. Dark Under Thieves has had a cushy economy throughout this entire set, and yet here they are. Forced onto some pistols and a Bucky at last. See what X that could do with it. Map one went down to the wire. Map two Forced looking to be a bit of the same. Pistol and a buggy. Fight to keep. Right town in my one round for lead. Buggy. Defensively. I mean, they're, they're spread. A, Make a say, spread a bit. Banger they're just kind of waiting to see where they're going to be pushing from. The thing is, Exit hasn't shown a ton in the opening moments of this round. But even with that, look at Ethan. He's postured up very aggressively. Aaron may get a shot at him. Ethan spotted him. He's just going to back off. Right? And look at the, the rotates back immediately. 11 eyes. I'm king. Thank you for the eight months. Yeah, still brother. had gleaned that info. Nobody's in A main. Probably 10 or 15 seconds prior. Ethan confirms it. And the stack should be tough to crack, but Ouch. they're doing all the right things right now, Exit. Yep. Yeah, they are not giving Ethan a chance at landing any nasty sheriff shots. Asuna Why has Fogo gotten up top fucked again, the verticality on this angle. This map, Every goddamn round, see more bro. and more as Sage enters the fold. But it's still difficult to kind of adapt to a beer round, but my gosh. 100 Thieves making this interesting. Not, that res should certainly help things as Aaron comes back. Nitro Sheriff, one. Ooh. Not able to get a second. Ten seconds left. Seals, I mean, seals elsewhere. Now, he's <laughs> got a lockdown, right? Like, in, in, and there's a world mm -hmm. in which he can invest the lockdown if he wants mm -hmm. to trap them in on the site. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, he, he hasn't even, he can't even make his way out. Towards, mar towards the middle of the site, right? Like, he, he can't even do that because Aaron's on a great spot. Yeah. In a world where steel 1v3s. Not today. He's not going to use it. He's going to get deleted by Aaron from Switch. Bam. Tough spot to be in, but yeah. didn't invest a whole lot into it. You know, you right. know you're probably going to be yielding a 10th round. They, they made all the right calls. They stacked Exet. the right spots, but Exit kind of aware. I think Bringing that, that is a very telling buddy. thing when it comes to, you know, a team's capability. If you're aware of how much information you've given and how much, how likely it is that you're walking into a stack, it's like, okay, we know this is probably going to be where the majority of 100 Thieves is. We're going to clear everything. We're going to take our time. And they still pay with it or pay for it with blood, right? Like uh, a few different players get dropped. They have to use a red to make, or res, excuse me, to make, make at least three live through the round. But, right. you know, they didn't lose it. And they came away with the majority of their weaponry. So, they're not in any kind of a financial crisis. Blue, purple, they just Blue, purple, 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 purple. And really, the pressure flips now. I'm saying red reminded me of that. Back into the into the side of 100 Thieves, where they don't necessarily, there... you know, they don't seem threatened on this map. It doesn't it doesn't look like there's some great weakness that Exit is keying in on, but they're making very good calls at opportune times, and it's paying off. Oh, maybe it was sticker. those great calls at opportune times that put them. In a position where they could have won ice box and again they fell just a bit short but exit once again finding themselves in a position to do just that you mentioned the finances i mean pure 7100 right like money for days just there's again wall. some of that really cool verticality that we see introduced into this map Ooh. he might dude tagged up a little bit he dealt some Big damage enough to make him think twice about it meanwhile asuna pushes his way out as well Gets away. Awesome, bro, you gotta work on that arm, my guy. Like the fuck? And that's why Sage is my favorite agent right there. Hello? Actually, Viper. Never mind. Yeah. What I was about to say. Man, right, here was... we go. Lockdown coming out. Cosmic Divide gonna do so as well. As Asuna looks to work his way forward. It doesn't look like there's gonna be anything to clear out the oh. lockdown. As Pure gets one with the showstopper, gets traded out instantly. There is one player who got messed up. Asuna. Oh my no goodness. Way. No way, Asuna might do it. Okay, Thwaifo comes up huge as he gets it almost. So he got it at least to half. Oh my gosh, he goes. <laughs> the Viper Dr. Mollies. Kalina trades it out with a bit of a utility of his own. Oh, Eco good for three. Eco gets four. Hundred Thieves take the round. Eco with the four. Watching, man. Just madness. The Cosmic Divide my. comes out. The Viper Walls go up. <laughs> And a lot of ground gets given by 100 Thieves. They're willing to kind of, you know, concede. All right, we've been caught, you know, out of position. Let's just go ahead and wait for the retake. And the retake is just so potent. Eco coming in with probably several hundred damage worth of shock darts and vandal shots there. And That's what it honestly, looks like when you've been gaming so that longer than I've been alive, dude. On that diffuse, Doug. That's what I want to be like when I'm 30. He, he, I mean, he almost stuck it. I mean, most.
now got a hunter's fury on hiko you got to run it back on austin this is a much scarier Fight. situation from exit than it was just a moment ago Fight. you know what's also probably funny now we Hiko's probably been playing like the same game the since since it looked like he wants before to i was born on. you think you're getting a good bit of info that they're coming the wall goes up a great dart bcj not able to land the finishing blow to take care of ethan there love the idea that barrier orb for ethan really just saves his life Almost he was playing happen. cs and with that you even see like look at how hundred thieves they're still staying home towards a right respecting the next set they have shown they're more than comfortable and more than willing to flip the map after drawing out some utility and making some things happen but how many times have we seen wipe in this spot oh, oh no. man it's bcj who's good for it spot steal as well not able to reach just by the uh -oh. narrow some margins but he goes hunter fury oh. pushes him back and the uh, wipe drops that is a huge kill from Kiko onto the Waifo, and I wonder whether or not that's enough to deter the B push entirely. No, they're going to keep pressing forward. Well, they don't really have time to do otherwise, Lex. 30 seconds left. Or any map control to speak of, and Nitro catching the shoulder of Aaron through that Viper's Ooh. Wall, but Pure answers back onto Steel. The site is forfeit now, but Nitro looking to hold on to things gets deleted by BCJ, and it's just Hiko in a 1v3. Doesn't have a hunter three, used it earlier, and has Can to work his Hiko way into a Viper's pit. Eco. Trying to find a way in, see if he can catch any lady luck as he blindly fires into the Viper's pit. And again, you see BCJ has worked his way around. Incredible read of the situation. How many times have we called BCJ's name? Honestly, too many. We started the series, you know, when I was doing the pregame, I was like, oh, I was really impressed by BCJ's performance. Most matches. I'm going to fanboy for a moment and say I'm excited to see what he can do. <laughs> and here we are, like two maps in and nonstop. I'm just blown away with how impressive his performance has been as an individual. I mean, there's a lot that you could speak of when it comes to Sova being a, a you know, a support or a team-based agent where he enables your teammates. But BCJ is just collecting heads with his proficiency on that agent and five players now from exit poised at a main and they're gonna run into just that hunter's fury we just spoke oh. of and ethan's already down yeah the wall was up too bcj good for it he goes alive austin is gonna be able to res up and he gets a kill on to we did yeah, hundred thieves on a very low buy here obviously and not really willing not to though. press into that melee. Exet's gonna bide their time, wait it out. Perhaps make 100 Thieves second guess their rotations as Austin already flying back to defender spawn. Shroud went live. only one with a rifle too, so mm -hmm. well. Chat, real quick, there. just want to go ahead and remind sure. you guys all one more time to hit the follow button, to make but more importantly than the follow the button, well. make so sure you hit the Prime Gaming sub button, where you can get a free sub to the nice channel, to the stream, right now, before you leave over to shout drop stream. So come on down and get subbed up with Prime Gaming for free today! Now Austin has shown up, Steel's going to show up a bit late to the party, we'll see what they can do without him again remember Austin has a vandal right he's the only one who's got a rifle here so it's most likely that if they something are happens it's gonna be is off not the back live. of his heroics already good for one on Aaron nice looking for a second no he drops BCJ nice. takes right. care of him we're still in it then As never mind steal try to work things in you <laughs> go up from top steel working his way in where pure should be able to spot him he goes drop he up is one. Never mind then. Fuck. Kind of toying with him, okay. trying to buy some time. Not going to do it, ladies and gents. It was a barn burner the first time. Farewell, Second Shrouders. Second time seems to be the case as well as Xset get to match point. It was nice milking match you guys point. for a little bit. Not a great buy here for 100 <laughs> Thieves either. I mean, they're going to get what they can, I'm pretty sure. Okay, never mind. They do bum, get an bum, operator. Bum, 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 Four rifles, bum, bum, it seems bum, like. Bum, 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 never mind. Forget my last. <laughs> but on the other hand, and this kind of applies to both teams. Yeah, both teams are... are without ultimates you're one orb off of having your brez on Thwaifo, but you know ultimately there's the not zombie. anything that's gonna just be a trump card going into this anything. round right already exit who have found so much success just executing into the sites here both on icebox and again in ascent oh. immediately putting pressure on steel here at b main 
Yeah, and they feel comfortable doing so. They've managed to push off the operator and look at how Steel with all oh of the boosts that he's been, they, they've been going up. No Steel's ready for way. it. CJ they do this every fucking round the and they get a pick. Them down. Pure is able how? To as well as Asuna looking to trade things back. That's one. You and the thing is, they haven't made their way onto the site. Like that Viper's wall is going to go up. Now, you see Spike creeping its way forward. Asuna playing very quietly on the other side. Curveball out. He swings with it. A little bit. Tag onto himself as Pure punishes him. Oh, Kiko trading boy. it out. With Spec or excuse me, the Guardian good for one. But he's in a 1v4. Exit looking to put... Eco away, looking to put 100 Thieves away, looking to tie up the series Damn. at one apiece, and they're going to do just that as there was not enough heroics for 100 not Thieves. Enough. Exit tie Heroic. the series up. Wow. And considering, I think, uh, you know, during the pregame, Doug, I was like, you know, Ascent being 100 Thieves, one of their stronger maps. Like, is there any hope for for, for the side of Exit to make this competitive? Not only did they make it competitive, Doug, but that was like an extremely <laughs> the performance, I think, throughout the, the latter half of the game, at least. You know, it didn't, wouldn't be a true story to say that they were, you know, looking like they were going to win the map through